So, if you're running Linux in a virtual environment on your personal computer in VMware Player or VMware Workstation and you have no sound, this is the video for you. Give me a few minutes and I'll show you exactly how to fix it. As I was saying earlier, you're running Linux in a virtualized environment in VMware Player or VMware Workstation on your personal computer and you got no sound, right? Um, a quick alternative that you could try is to install Oracle VirtualBox, which is another virtualization application to set up your, your, um, your, your Linux as a VM and see if sound works in that. I've, I've tried it um, and it did work in different cases because the Oracle VirtualBox used the Windows Direct Sound to integrate the sound from the host to the VM and it didn't seem to have a problem. But if you're absolutely interested in getting the sound working in VMware Player or VMware Workstation, just stay tuned to the video and I'll show you exactly how to fix it, right? Uh, I prefer VMware because it gives me more video memory that I need to use in my virtual um, environment so that's why i actually went through try to figure it out to get the sound working so few things you can try let me just show you real quick um you, you can try removing the sound card from the vm adding it back um disabling it re-enabling it uh, as you can see on my screen here this is my virtual linux uh, let me bring up the sound settings. All right, so yeah, like you can disconnect it, reconnect it. Make sure it's connected as well. That's the very first thing you should check. Um, next thing you can check is in your sound card application under device advanced settings. There's this option that says enable jack detection when the device is plugged in. This will actually um, block the communication, the sound to the VM. So this is something you can try. It didn't work for me, but you can absolutely try that. And while we're on this screen, this is the sound application that I get from installing the actual motherboard drivers for the sound card. Right? Also, during troubleshooting, I did install the latest um, sound drivers for the sound card, which didn't fix it for me. But what happened was it also upgraded the sound application. So the previous sound application that I had before the new driver install looks something like this, where um, the, you can see the options are a bit different here. So to disable the jack detection, you would have to actually click on the AC97 front panel, that option will actually um, disable the, the jack detection which can actually resolve the um, issue in VMware. Um, like I said, it did not do it for me, neither of these options, upgrading the, dri the drivers nor um, selecting the AC97 to disable the, the jack detection did work for me. So, Alright, so let's move on and take a look at the virtual machine itself. Okay let's look at device manager so on this machine I'm using real tech audio and I'm not sure if the sound problem is specific to real tech but I've noticed that I've had issues with real tech working in VMware player VMware workstation right so uh, let's go to properties here as you can see the manufacturer here is saying real tech so right now the actual real tech drivers are installed right hence why I have the sound application here okay so let's just do a quick test in my linux environment here so let's bring up youtube and see if we have any sound let's just click on any video all right my sound is all the way up sound on my host as well okay you heard that thing so i have sound on my host which is my windows 10 machine but i don't have any sound in the virtual machine right let's click on another video see what it says okay nothing no sound okay so the quick fix for this and let's call it a workaround and not exactly a fix because what's going to happen is 
I'm going to uninstall this driver, which is going to remove the manufacturer sound card driver, and it's going to replace it with Microsoft generic driver, right? So I'm going to hit install here. It's going to ask me to reboot. I'm going to reboot, and then we can see what happens after that. All right, so it's saying restart. So stay tuned and let's see what happens. Okay, so my machine has been rebooted. Um, I'm back on my Linux VM right now. But before we test the sound, let's just do a quick check on the driver and see if we actually got it um, uninstalled properly, right? So as you can see here, it's still saying Realtek Audio. And also on my speaker icon here, still saying Realtek Audio, right? Which may indicate that it's still using the Realtek drivers, but it's actually not. We can confirm that is by going to properties in device manager and uh, if you look here you see that it said the manufacturer of this sound card is microsoft which is not true it's a real tech sound card um you, that use real tech drivers but windows is just remembering that um real tech drivers were installed and it actually recognized that it's a it's it's a real tech sound card but it's using the microsoft drivers so right now it's using the Microsoft generic drivers and uh, one setback to that is when you use the generic drivers you won't get that application that I brought up before I reboot, rebooted my machine that comes with installing the manufacturer drivers so that application the sound application it only enables you to additional features of the sound card like equalizer features um, um, stuff like the subwoofer features um, and so on so if if you can live without, without those features which means you would still get sound, high definition sound, you would still get with the generic drivers, then you should be good to go. So um, now let's check if we actually have sound and if that uh, work around actually worked for us. So let's bring up our browser page again, go back to YouTube here. Let's just click on any one of these videos and see if it works. Light up your new year and shine your brightest with Cadillac. Get 0.9% APR. All right, there you have it. We're looking good. Or should I say we're sounding good? So it seems like, yeah, definitely the generic drivers works perfectly um, in VMware Linux. If you find this video useful, um, please give the video a like, comment and share. And thanks very much for tuning in. All right, then, take care.